So you finally broke down and got that electronic deadbolt for the front door. What's the single most important thing you need to be aware of when you install this deadbolt? I'm going to tell you. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. Now, before I can actually tell you what it is on the electronic deadbolt, I have to tell you why it's so important. And to do that, I gotta take you back to a mechanical deadbolt. Now, I already did a video on one of the weakest security flaws in your house. If your hardware is not installed correctly, when we were talking about levers and knobs, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it down below. You're going to want to take a look. But your deadbolt has a weakness as well. If your deadbolt isn't installed correctly so that the bolt extracts all the way, it's not going to work right. When your bolt is extracted all the way, it can't be pushed into the door. It's locked in place. But if your hole in your frame isn't deep enough for that deadbolt, so maybe it only goes part of the way out, that'll just push right back in. Boom. Anybody can bypass this deadbolt if it's not installed correctly. And that's a very important security flaw in your home. So electronic deadbolts have taken this into account. So let's go take a look at what they do. So first, let me show you that this is actually going to work the same way as mechanical deadbolt. When it's extracted all the way, which is how it's supposed to be, bolt can't be forced in. But if it's extracted only part of the way and not all the way out, it can be bypassed. So the most important thing you can do when installing an electronic deadbolt is make sure that the hole in the strike that's receiving that bolt, make sure that it's at least one inch deep. So this bolt will go all the way out. When the bolt goes all the way out, you have no problems. But when the bolt doesn't go all the way out, your deadbolt, your electronic deadbolt is not going to behave correctly. It's going to bind on you. It's going to alert you. It's going to go into endless cycles. And let's take a look at what that looks like. What I'm gonna do here is just stick a piece of, uh, just a little spacer I have into that hole so that bolt won't go all the way into it. All right, now I've moved outside. Let's take a listen to when that electronic deadbolt tries to lock itself. All right, you heard the alarm, but did you hear the gears grinding on the electronic lock? It's in there and it's twisting and it's trying to go into the door. Well, that's bad news because you're messing with all the mechanics inside that lock. And these locks are expensive. You don't want to be in there wearing those parts down and grinding them and stripping them out. So you want to make sure that that hole is at least one inch deep so it doesn't do that. Now, the smart locks will behave differently depending on the manufacturer. This one here by Yale will put out the alert so you know it's not locked right, so you know you have something to check. Other ones by Quickset will try to relock themselves again. And a few minutes later, it'll try to relock itself again. So you'll hear it going and going and going. That's your indication that something's wrong and you need to fix it. Now listen to this. I'm going to unlock this door with the key now. And listen to how I got to strip these gears out in order to get it open because it didn't close properly. Did you hear that? That's awful. That's destroying that lock. The best thing you can do when you're doing an install of an electronic lock is make sure that your strike is at least a one inch deep hole. Now, if you are looking at buying locks, we did product reviews of a lot of smart locks, the electronic deadbolts. I'll put links down to those below. But just remember that tip when you're installing them, one inch hole. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and you've been watching Locksmith Recommended. Locksmith Recommended.